And here we go. I am super, super, super excited to share this ride with you today. I am in Key Largo and I am riding with the Key Largo Spider Girls to the Everglades. Debbie is leading. She is on her Indian Scout. I am in the middle on my Road King Special. And behind me, we have Yvonne who is driving and Sandy is a passenger on their Spider Can-Am. But we look really cool. It's like small to largest and we're all on blacked out bikes. So we're headed north. Highway 1, leaving the Keys, headed towards Miami, but I think when we get to Homestead, we'll be hanging a left. We're going to go down to, I believe, the Flamingo Visitor Center, and then that's where we'll turn around and, and ride back. It is going to be a really cool ride. If you've never been to Florida, you got to put it on your bucket list. Most of it's flat. There's a little, there, there are a few hilly spots that you can find in central Florida and some of the, the farmland. I have a hitchhiker, a ladybug right on the top of my windshield. We went down Gilbert's Resort Drive last night for dinner. I think it was called the Blackwater Siren Restaurant. It was really good. It's where the locals go to eat. Delicious. Debbie and Sandy have really figured life out. They split their time between the Florida Keys and the mountains of North Carolina. Sometime in late spring, they head up and call the North Carolina mountains their home base. And they're able to enjoy the winter months down here. I met all three of these ladies at the Mid-Atlantic Women's Motorcycle Rally. It was the first all-women's event that I've been to. It was held in Pennsylvania this past year. And talk about a really amazing group of women that have all come together. Shared passion for riding and friendship, sisterhood. It's just really, it's very, very cool. And since the rally, I've had the opportunity to see these ladies in other places. I feel very blessed. So the name of this road is Chrome Avenue. All right, we're gonna gas up. I don't know if you can still see the little ladybug. It's crawling on the outside of the windshield now. I may find a safer place for it. Well, that's a relief. I really thought that we were gonna have to go back out on the road and cross over the traffic going in and out of the keys, which would be like playing a really dangerous game of Frogger, but I should have known. We would not have stopped if there wasn't a safe way to get out. So it's sort of a parallel road that we're taking now that has a light. And I wonder if we're just going to be going left. Because the Everglades are that way. Yep, we're taking a left on South 344th Street. I wonder where number one starts. I love the palm trees. So I believe this is Florida City. There's the City Hall, 
they have bushes that are carved into animals. That's neat. We're going straight. Nice. We're taking a scenic route. I like it. And there are some of the citrus trees, probably from Robert's fruit stand. Oh, I'm so excited. I had a turn left there, right in the middle of all that traffic. How beautiful. Ah, papaya. Yes, that's Robert's farm. Beautiful Florida home with clay tiles, but oh my goodness, what are those trees? They're beautiful. I don't know what they are, but they're beautiful. They're all twisted and very exotic. Something in the road. A cardboard box. A little bumpy. Bumpity bump bump. There we go. That was wild. We are approaching the entrance for the Everglades National Park. Here we go. Oh, I am so excited. I love this park. Oh, it makes my soul happy. There's a little birdie walking on the ground, well, kind of hopping on the ground. Mm, this feels so good. Here's the nice ranger that stopped off and greeted us as we arrived. Royal Palm and Hinga Trail off that way. Ooh, and more panther signs. So uh, there is zero chance we are going to see a panther today. I know I'm super excited about it, but I am keeping my expectations realistic. Between Debbie's pipes on her bike and the pipes on my bike, I mean, they knew we were coming before we left the Keys. They are nowhere near us. Signs remind me of when my kids were little. Where they would have like a sign, you know, deer crossing. They would want me to slow down and give the chance for the deer to come and cross. Like they thought that the deer were gonna listen to the signs and only cross there. Really cute. All right, Long Pine Key is down that way. I must have misread the sign before because that said Flamingo is 34 miles from here. That seems more accurate from what I remember. It was a long ride in. The last time I was here, it was by motorcycle. And I had friends who had trailered down here like in a big toy hauler. Their motorcycles in the back. Well, I met them at the campground stayed, got everything set up, and by the time that we left, it was dark. Riding through this at night, I mean, that is a, that is an awesome 
awesome experience. It is dark. There is no light pollution here. Rock Reef Pass, elevation three feet. Three feet, three feet above sea level. I wonder what they're doing. Dwarf cypress forest. All right, four feet of elevation right here. So these are dwarf cypress trees. You can see the water. All the grass and the trees are coming out of it on both sides. Off to the left is Nine Mile Pond. Got a picnic area and a place to get in and canoe. Yeah, lots of canoes. Rowdy Bend. It's a reduction in the speed limit, down to 35. Christian's Point's off to the left. And Flamingo is straight ahead. Be getting close. Bear Lake, off to our right. Here we are. We have made it down to Flamingo. There are boat ramps over there to get in the water and a visitor center, and there's also camping, both the tent camping ahead, and they have RV camping as well. And it's pink like a flamingo. All the pretty moss on the trees. So they are swapping out bikes. Yvonne is going to be riding on the Indian Scout. Mm -hmm. Have you ridden a bike where this is hanging down? That'll be interesting to see how that feels. You don't have to worry about gas, you're carrying extra fuel. There you go. Yeah. I've been strapped on some extra gas. We could not have asked for better weather. I think it's about 72 degrees right now, a little overcast. I mean, you can see the sun has come out, but you know, it comes out, it warms you up, and then it goes behind some clouds to cool you off. I enjoyed stopping off the visitor center. Had a really nice exhibit on the inside, lots of educational information. There was a hawk that just flew. But the coolest thing that we saw was an alligator that was at least six feet long. All right, we're going to go to Royal Palm. A little scenic pull-off. Another cougar crossing. Spanish moss on the trees. Oh wow. This is cool. This is a really neat feeling. So what did you think? It's a beast. <laughs> I had to quit smiling because I was getting bugs in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I smiled for a mile. Uh, 
see what getting on two wheels does for you. Wow. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Thank you. That was fun. What a better road to get the feel of. Gumbo Limbo. It's through a tropical hardwood hammock. So I noticed a lot of these places. Look how the bark peels off. It's even soft looking. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I wonder what they mean by hammock. Because I think like a canopy is what's covering, but what part is the actual hammock? Maybe it's the shape. Maybe. It's really pretty. All right, look out for the cougars. Look out for the cougars. Straight up. Oh, Isn't that I neat? think it's. I think it um, pulled the tree. Uh huh. Yeah, I think. That's pretty wild. Yeah, here's. Yeah, that. when yeah. it ripped. Oh wow. Oh, that's one of those gumbo trees. Yeah, it's super shallow. Wow. Sure is. I mean, that's less than a foot deep. That's a really cool thing to be able to see. Like a specimen of the tree. This is cool. And more palms. Oh yeah. Talk about a hardy tree, that's one. Yeah. Look at these roots. You can take oh my worm. It's unusual. Oh. Super interesting. Looks like the bird on it. Yeah, it peeled off of the palm tree. Oh, wow. It, it feels like a corn husk. What a cool forest. This is a tropical forest. <laughs> Hi. All right, we have shuffled motorcycles again, so this time Sandy is driving, Yvonne is a passenger, and Debbie is back on her Indian. Super fun. And our next stop, Robert's Fruit Stands for Milkshakes. We only have a few miles to see a panther. Keep your eyes peeled. After that, we can start worrying about what kind of milkshake. All right, the sign is just telling us the main road is ahead. When we get up to it, we're gonna take a right. Well, this was a great experience to ride down to the Flamingo Visitor Center. That is the most southern portion of the mainland of the United States. After that, it's a series of islands. Thanks so much for riding along. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified each time I release a new video. I really appreciate you coming with me to the Florida Everglades.